Hi there. I'm going to show you how to use Appy Life Bar, a very widely used, cheap and effective Varroa treatment. They come in packets of two. They're actually made from a extract of thyme, so it's a naturally uh, sourced chemical. So here we go. Remove your crown board. Notice I'm using one of these little mesh plates, I, I quite often use those over the um, feeding hole because um, then I leave it to the bees to decide exactly how much ventilation they will need. Ventilation is very important in a beehive, so they will literally just propolize what they don't want until they feel their air conditioning is spot on and then I just leave them to it. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna give them a little tiny puff of smoke like that and then apply my greasy little black biscuit you literally break them into four you need latex or um, nitrile type gloves because they are quite pungent and greasy you usually would use this treatment before the honey flow and then after the honey flow you, you've got to have it where the temperature is above 18 degrees and you can't use it when you've got your supers on because it will tend to taint your honey. So that's basically it. What you have to remember is the life cycle of a Varroa mite, which is um, four, four weeks, really four or five weeks. So you have to kill the mature Varroa mites and then return in seven days to kill the next generation of Varroa and you carry on with that three or four times. So you need three or four biscuits depending on your infestation and what you're recommended to do. Um, and then that's the, uh, the whole treatment complete. And it's as simple as that really. Sometimes the bees do you a favour and they will actually remove the um, residue of the biscuits after the, the, uh, the treatment's finished although usually you would need to scrape them off with your hive tool. One little word of warning though, if you're a bit like me and you use poly hives, the, the thymol actually does react with the polystyrene to some degree and it will melt it. So it's fine as long as the um, biscuits aren't actually touching the polystyrene. Make sure they're firmly onto the top of your frames. Okay, that's it. I hope that helped.